Stabilization beams are needed on deeper V-holes to keep the blocks level and alleviate what we call the taco effect, which happens when the blocks want to conform to the V-shape of the hull. The stabilization beam runs underneath the bottom of the blocks in order to flatten the surface of the platform. The beam will be added once the platform is in the water so that you can get the beam in place underneath the blocks. First, insert the threaded rods at the ends of the beam. There will be a hex nut on top of the beam and a lock washer and hex nut beneath the beam with about an inch of threaded rod exposed. Tighten the nuts on either side of the beam using a 15 16 flat wrench and socket. Next, attach a rope on each end of the beam. Make sure the ropes are not tied too tightly so they can come off easily when you're done. A bowling knot is preferable. Remove the top hardware, which is the large plastic washer, flat washer, lock washer, and nut. If you're using just one beam, plan to place it under the third row from the stern. If using two beams, the third and sixth rows will be used. And if using three beams, plan to place under the third, sixth, and ninth rows from the stern. Slowly drop the beam into the water off the rear of the platform with one person holding the rope on each end. Walk the beam into place under the dock so that the threaded rods come up through the strengthening bar holes. Once the beam is in place, pull up on the bottom so that it is against the blocks and hand tighten the hardware as much as possible. Order of the hardware is the large plastic washer, flat washer, followed by lock washer, and finally the nut. Once the hardware is attached, untie the rope. Tighten the nuts on each end with a 15 16 deep well socket or flat wrench. Roughly 10 to 12 quarter turns will tighten. Try not to over tighten.